Oh, hey guys, it's Alan, a Boston fan, and today I am going to do an unboxing, I guess you could call it, of the 1986 Donruss Baseball Highlights cards. Now, if you grew up when I grew up, there were so many box sets and update sets and stuff, and they were always kind of cool, at least I thought they were cool. So I've amassed quite a collection of them, um, and a lot of them are unopened. Um, and so my goal is to keep one unopened and then I kind of want to go through and actually enjoy the cards that I want to keep in the extra one. So I'm going to do some unboxing videos in the future. This may be for you. It may not. Um, and my goal in this is to look at the cards and just determine which cards uh, I want to keep in my PC um, versus which cards I want to sell or put onto trading card database and try to trade. So we have the full brick still sealed of the 86 uh, highlights. It has the Hank Aaron puzzle, um, which is kind of cool. That may go into my PC just as a, a Hank Aaron card. That's kind of neat. Um, comes in the full thing. I'm guessing maybe 86 Donruss had a Hank Aaron puzzle in its regular release. Um, the big cards in this, I believe, is, is basically the Bo Jackson, um, which is a rookie year, of course, not his, his official rookie card. I think there's a Will Clark rookie year card as well. There's some Clement cards. I I haven't gone through this a lot, so It'll be kind of interesting to see who's in there and what highlights they include. Um, yeah, and we'll just go through. I'll see if I want to keep anything or if it is something that's just going to get traded. So on the back, we have card number one. So I guess it goes in reverse. So well, it doesn't really matter. We'll just go forward. So we got the Hank Aaron puzzle that I think will go in PC. We got checklist. Um, there is a variation of these. So here's a Jose Canseco rookie year card. Obviously, he's got the famous um, rookie rated rookies. He's also in the Don Russ, the rookie set. Um, so this will probably go up on eBay if there are sold listings. Um, but there is a variation that I think is quite rare as these highlights um, can be in a white variation. Um, obviously, now we know I don't have the white variation. Um, I think I had this card a long time ago, and... It was graded. I bought it in a collection. I sold it. It's a nice image of Jose. Um, it's almost really similar to the image they used for his Diamond King in 1987. Obviously, they changed the colors up, but I mean, it's, it's, it's essentially that pose and that face. Uh, we'll put that up there. That's the AL Rookie of the Year card. We have NL Rookie of the Year, Todd Worrell. He used to be a great TTMer, which I'd love to use this for TTM, but he's very inconsistent now. Uh, Don Mattingly, Yankee record for hits and doubles. It's a nice card. Doesn't really fit my PC though. Dave Rigetti, Shatter Save, ML Save Mark. He did. Switch from relieving. Hmm, interesting. Um, cool. John Cangelosi, AL record for steals by a rookie. He does not TTM, so it doesn't fit. We got Steve Sachs, player of the month, September. Mike Kruko, pitcher of the month in September. That's a nice. Uh, action image of him he used to be really good ttm i know some people on sports collectors used to talk about him making maybe making the hall of fame as an announcer someday so when he was signing i did send to him a couple times over several years um but i don't think he's consistent anymore second don madeline of the set player of the month september kind of a standard first base pose then we've got a red sox card bruce hurst al pitcher of the month september i wish they had the world series cards in here um nice pick uh image of hurst Pitching there, probably a spring training game. Uh, it doesn't quite fit a card that I need to keep for my Red Sox PC. Uh, Mike Scott, no hitter, clinches a division. When I was a kid, I was enraptured by Mike Scott and his split finger. I read a book about the 86 postseason, and there, were, there was a chapter dedicated to a split finger. Um, and for a while, I was convinced that I was going to develop an awesome split finger and be a star pitcher. So Mike Scott is definitely someone who I love. Um, Jim Deshay sets, sets Major League strikeout record. I think 87 Tops has a record breaker card of this. Um, I think he started a game with like seven or eight strikeouts to set a record. Um, he's off and on TTM, so I might keep him in my TTM box. Joe Cowley, he has been signing recently, so Major's first no hitter in two years. Cool, that would be a cool card to send TTM. Here's the Bo Jackson. So I have this in my rookie binder. Um, this is actually fairly nicely centered, obviously sharp corners. We see it's not the white variation. Um, so this is going to be going up on eBay. My goal is to sell that, and I want to pick up his 87 Fleer, which I somehow don't have. And then he's got that classic 87 classic card with a you know, baseball-football combo, and I'd like to add that and have a full nine-card nine card 
page, binder page um, in my rookie binder. And here we got a nice Indians image of Joe Carter. Um, he used to be great, $5 through the mail, but he's kind of stopped. Dale Murphy should be in the Hall of Fame, player of the month, August. Bill Gullickson, pitcher of the month, August. Doug DeSenses, um, he signs, I think he has a fee, $5. Decent image, not great. Mike Witt, player of the month. Juan Samuel, he was TTM, good TTM around 2020 or before. Now around when my daughter was born, 2015. Mike Schmidt, that's a nice card. Has a scratch. Nope, that was just factory stuff. Uh, surpasses DiMaggio's record. I like the image vari the and not variations, the image shots. Um, would have liked a little bit better of a pose on Mike. Um, for Hall of Famers, if it's a nice image of the card, I do want to keep it in my PC and just, you know, put it into, you know, have a, wherever my Mike Schmidt cards go. Now, here's a weird one. Steve Carlton, not just 4,000th 4, 4, 4, K. In a Giants uniform, that's kind of new, weird, odd to me. Like I've never, I don't know that I've ever seen a picture of him in the Giants uniform, um, but that might be just because I don't have any '85, '86 cards. That's a cool image, probably black and white. That's been repainted. Willie McCovey makes the Hall of Fame. Um, I really like Willie McCovey as a player. I could do better with the image though. That's kind of a neat card. But I'll put that on trading bait. Trade TCBD. TCDB, yeah. Um, Ernie Lombardi makes the Hall of Fame. I like this card a lot. You see the old stadium there, the old ad there. That's kind of cool. I don't know if it's going to fit my PC just because, you know, I don't particularly collect Ernie Lombardi and don't expect to get any other cards. Now, this is a card, Bobby Doerr, that I never got signed. He was the most fantastic TTMer, but I've, I haven't owned this card until after he passed. Um, so that's a nice card. Wish I could have gotten that TTM. Brett Blyland with his tongue sticking out. Eric Davis. That's kind of a nice batting pose. Todd Worrell, pitcher of the month. We'll go a little bit faster. Scott Fletcher, he's a TTMer, so I'll put that on my TTM pile. Player of the month in July. Uh, I loved him when he was on the Red Sox. Jack Morris, looking like he's completely clean-shaven in that card. Uh, pitcher of the month, July. Roger Clemens, all-star game MVP. That's a kind of nice image of Roger for 86. So that actually I might keep for my Red Sox PC. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, RIP Fernando Valenzuela ties all-star game record. Too much stuff, but I think it was striking out consecutive hitters maybe. Daryl, um, I love Mets cards. I just think the jerseys look great on baseball cards. Um, Daryl always has a classic swing. Um, this is a nice card. Doesn't quite fit my PC. A little bit something down there. Wally Joyner. Picture at Fenway Park. I love finding those. Um, he started out so great in his career. And this is a rookie year card of him, of course. Barb Horner for his four homers. He used to sign TTM um, $5 each. So that might go in my TTM pile. And then I'll see if he still signs. That would be kind of a cool card to get signed. Uh, denoting his four homer game. Uh, Kevin Bass. Player of the month. June. Rick Roden, Pitcher of the Month, and they have him in a batting pose. Kind of interesting. Kent Herbick, Player of the Month. He signs for $5. Not the most flattering image. I prefer image is with uh, action poses. Roger Clemens, Pitcher of the Month, June. Um, yeah, I like the other card better. We're going to keep it. Roger Clemens starts the season 14-0, and so that's the third Clemens card in the highlight. This, of course, coming off 86, where he went 24-4, and uh, won the Cy Young and the MVP. Don Sutton notches his 300 clear a win. That would have been cool to get signed when he was alive and signing. Hubie Brooks, player of the month, May. Jeff Reardon, pitcher of the month, May. Wade Boggs, RIP, if you get the reference. Um, player of the month, May. Don Ossie, pitcher of the month. Love the mustache there. Wade Boggs, first five hit game of his career. That's kind of a random highlight. Kind of stretching there. He had the first five hit game of his career. Congratulations, Wade. That's a nice image um, of him swing. Oh, this is a cool card. So this is Reggie Eclipse's Mantle's home run record. Reggie, Mantle. Um, I'm going to see if that sells on eBay just because I'd love to put it towards either a Mantle or Reggie card. But that is a really cool card and might be worthy of PC keeping. Johnny Ray is a TTMer, so this will go into my TTM stack. He was a player month for April. L really nice picture of Dwight Gooden here. Uh, picture of the month of April. Um, I may have this signed. I have some, I have an 86 card of him signed. Um, this image seems to stir some memories there. 
Really nice card of Kirby Puckett, post swing, player of the month of April. Um, it's trying to save up for an 80, 85 Fleer rookie, so this might go on eBay and see if I can make a little bit a month. Roger Clemens, pitcher of the month, April. Um, obviously in April he set his 20 game strikeout record, which is this card right here, and you can see the K's. I'm not gonna add them up, but this I think is gonna go into the PC. So I think that's really cool, it was a big game. Um, Mike Schmidt, Philly's RBI leader. I think they were just looking for an excuse to put Schmidt in at this point. Uh, decent image. Um, I don't think it's going to go into any kind of Schmidt PC. George Brett, there's a great documentary on YouTube that I watched recently. It gave me a, a better uh, understanding of Brett and, and appreciate him more. Um, so I may keep this one and just stick it into my Hall of Fame stack. It's a really nice swinging image of Brett. There's a lot of cards that have really sweet swing pictures of him. Uh, we got Jose Rio, Oakland Milestone for strikeouts. Picture's either weird or, I don't know, shading's weird on his face. And then we got the Will Clark rookie year. Homer's in his first at bat. I did not know that about Will Clark. Um, pretty interesting. I don't know that I'm going to keep this. I do like to keep rookie year cards. Um, but Clark obviously has a bunch of 86s and 87s. Um, so this might, I might see if it sells on eBay. And we'll see what we can do. So, yeah, that's the 86 Donruss set, 86 Donruss highlight set. Um, there's obviously several nice rookie year cards, Canseco, Jackson, Canseco, um, several Schmidt cards. I think there were four or five Roger Clemens cards in there. Pretty cool set. Some of the stuff that they highlight is kind of random, and I think they were stretching to, to put a set together like that. Um, but overall, it's, it's one of those typical 80s, early 90s box sets. Um, and now I get to enjoy going through these and putting some off on eBay, pulling a couple out for TTMs and, and actually getting to migrate them into my collection versus sitting in it as an extra box. So again, just a random kind of series I want to go through and, and, and try to migrate some of these things, like I said, into different pieces into my PC or get rid of the ones I don't want because they're just sitting in boxes and, and all the stuff that I'm going to be opening are not all, but most, um, I have extras of that. I have an unopened one that I can keep and and, and have stored just in case um, I'm just that kind of collector. So anyway, let me know what you think. Um, what do you think about these box sets? Um, do you collect them? Do you keep them unopened? Uh, you know, it's something that as a kid, I never had these and always wanted them. Now as an adult, you pick them up in collections and I've got kind of a glut of them. So might as well open them because why not? So that's it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you again soon.